Hi guys, it's Victoria, and today I'm here to talk about my 2019 reading stats and also some goals that I have for the new year 2020. Also, forgive me if I seem a little bit um, low energy. I'm a little bit under the weather, but I really wanted to get some videos up. <laughs> it's been like one thing after another, and I couldn't get any videos up. So even though I'm sick, we're going to push through it and uh, talk to you about the books I read this year. So first, I'd like to go through my 2019 reading goals and to just kind of see how I did with each one. I really only had three main reading goals, and the first of those was to read 50 books. That was accomplished. Um, as of right now, I've read 56. If everything goes according to plan, I will finish the year with 58 books, which I'm very happy with. This is the most amount of books that I've ever read before in a year, um, in like in my whole life, if you could believe that. But uh, last year I discovered BookTube, I became part of the community, and I read 42 books, which was a big deal for me. And so this year I was like, let's see if we can hit 50, and we more than hit 50. We exceeded 50 books. And I don't think 60 books is going to be realistic. I was really hoping um, that I could get to. <laughs> Sorry, the door just opened creepily <laughs> because my cat opened it. <laughs> I'm sure you just thought a ghost just walked into the room. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> so anyways, I don't think I'll hit 60 books, but um, if I hit 58 books, that would be amazing for me. Uh, so yeah, that goal was definitely accomplished, no problem. Goal number two was to reread one book a month for a total of 12 rereads. And this also was successful because I read through some series that I had wa been wanting to reread. I did complete my reread through The Chronicles of Nardia, and I also completed, as of yesterday, I completed my reread through Madeline Langle's A Wrinkle in Time books, her Time Quintet. So I completed that as well. And so that actually comes out to exactly 12 books. So check reread 12 books. My third and final goal for 2019 had been to read one new release book every month and also to put out a, um, a video review on my channel of that new release book. This didn't go exactly as planned. And I think there's a few reasons why. I won't be doing this challenge in 2020. Um, I don't know if I'll try it again another time, but it didn't exactly go as I had hoped it went, would go because I didn't really enjoy a lot of the new releases that I picked up. Sometimes there would be a month where there wasn't a book I was super excited about, so I kind of randomly picked a new release for that month and that was really hit or miss. Actually out of the 11 new releases that I did read I DNF'd one of them and I only really liked maybe five of them out of 11 and so I was just thinking about it and realizing that I was spending my money on these new releases that I wasn't enjoying. So I think I'm only going to buy a new release book if I am really excited about it or it's like a next book in a series that I've been waiting for or from an author that I like. Um, I'm not going to be spending that hard-earned cash on just trying random new release books. So that did not go as well as I had wanted it to, but that's okay. It was an experiment. Um, I don't even think I got a video review up for every book, but I, I, got, I did get a lot of them, but not for every single one. However, I will say that that did get me out of my comfort zone a little bit. I tried some books that I would have never tried before, so that did help kind of expand my knowledge of books and new releases, and so it wasn't a wasted experiment. However, I won't be doing it again in 2020. In fact, I'm almost going to be doing the opposite in 2020. But before we talk about 2020, I do want to throw up my stats, my reading stats. Um, first, I'll show you the genres that I read. And it's pretty largely skewed in the direction of fantasy. So I read 27 fantasy books. <laughs> 
Um, they could have been middle grade, they could have been young, young adult, they could have been adult, but 27 fantasy books that I finished. And so um, that's pretty much <laughs> over half of the reading that I did, or about half of the reading that I did. Um, mystery thrillers, I read three classics, or what I would, what I would consider classics. And there's some other books on my list that I didn't add to the classics because I had included them in fantasy. I read a lot of classic fantasy, so then I was like, well, I don't know where to put those, but I just went ahead and put them in, in fantasy. But as far as classics go, I read two, which, wow, that's probably the lowest amount of classics that I've read in a year, in a really long time. I'm usually pretty good with reading classics. So only two classics, just two historical fiction novels. Nonfiction, I read six, which a big part of my nonfiction reading was in November for Nonfiction November. So four, four or five out of those six books were read in November. <laughs> um, five sci-fi books, three contemporary books, five manga or graphic novel books, um, three dystopian, because I reread, or not reread, but I read the last two books of the Hunger Games and then read The Toll by Neil Schusterman, so I counted those as dystopian. And then I DNF'd just two books this year. So that's that's not bad for as far as DNFs go. The age range that I mostly read was adult. This was actually split pretty well. Pretty It was pretty evenly balanced between the three age ranges that I read, but 22 adult books, middle grade books, uh, came out to about 14, and a big part of that is because I read The Chronicles of Narnia, and I also read the Percy Jackson and the um, Olympian series. So 14 middle grade, and then 20 YA books, young adult books. So pretty, pretty evenly split. I was actually surprised about that. I kind of expected it to be a lot more on the um, younger side, which I guess it is, but... Um, pretty pretty even split so I'm kind of happy about that let's go ahead and start talking about my goals for 2020 um, I'm very excited for 2020 because there are already a couple of um, either like year-long readathons or readathons that take up part of the year that I'm really excited to participate in so my first goal is to read 55 books in the year 2020 I think that's attainable because this year I think 55 books is more than attainable for me because this year I'm going to come out to about 58 books um, by the end of the year. So 55 books sounds like it's going to be about my pace. Maybe we'll get to 60 next year. I don't know. But hopefully we can at least hit that 55 again. Um, if I can keep it about to where it is right now, I'd be super happy. My second goal for 2020 is to reread The Lord of the Rings and also to reread Harry Potter, which I've never reread Harry Potter. I think I've reread maybe the seventh book a couple times, but I've never reread the entire series before. So I'm super excited to do that. I'm also really excited to do The Lord of the Rings again because it is definitely one of my favorite books of all time or one of my favorite series of all time. And Krista from Books and Jams is hosting a Lord of the Rings readathon very early in the year. I think it's starting up in January. So in January, I'll read The Hobbit with them, and then we'll just keep on reading through the series. So I'm excited to do that as part of a bookish community this time. And I believe it's Krista's first time reading The Lord of the Rings. So that'll be a lot of fun. The third goal I have for 2020 is to read the Anne of Green Gables series, which is another readathon here on booktube happening with the Curly Reader, and I think one other person, I can't remember. I'll link them down below, though. Oh, Tia. Tia and all the books. Um, they are hosting the Anne of Green Gables read-along. And I've only ever read the first one. I've never read the whole series. So Anne of Green Gables will be a reread for me, but then the rest of the series will be all new for me. So again, we're going to start, I think, in January reading Anne of Green Gables. And I'm just super excited to get through that series. I have a feeling I'm going to love it. And that'll be just a lot of fun, again, to do with a bookish community. Very excited for that. My fourth goal for 2020 is going to be a little bit of a tough one for me, but that's really to just not buy any more books. <laughs> um, I guess you would call it a book buying ban is usually what people call it around these parts of the internet. But I don't want to think of it as a ban. I just want to think of it as 
I have so many books that I need to get through that I already own. I think I counted, I sat down and counted the other day, and I have like 150 books about that are unread on my shelves. And to me, that's too big of a physical TBR. I would really like to get it way down. It's going to take more than a year to get it way down. I would love to get my physical TBR down to maybe 20 or 30 books at a time. Um, however, that's going to take some time because I, I don't read super fast, but I have accumulated a lot of books really quickly. Booktube is to blame for that, so just be aware. Beware, booktube people. So part of that book buying ban is to not um, really pursue new releases in 2020, except I, I'm really interested in reading the new Hunger Games book that is supposed to come out, I think maybe September of this year, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. It might be November, September, November. Um, I would like to get to that book when it comes out. But other than that one, I'm really going to focus this year on just knocking out some of my TBR books. I think I could read at least 35 of the books that I already own. If I could get through 35 or 40 books of the books that I actually physically own and not buy any more from there, um, that would really help get my TBR down or at least start to get it down. Those are all my reading goals for the year 2020. I love the new year. It's one of my favorite things ever. It's one of my favorite times of year. I love setting goals, <laughs> whether or not I reach them. I love setting them. It's just so much fun for some reason. <laughs> and so let me know what some of your 2020 goals are. Um, let me know how your 2019 reading year went. Did it go well for you? Are you excited about a fresh slate in 2020 um, chat with me down below. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are and keep reading great books. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.